We're going to begin with that much anticipated conversation between former President Donald Trump and billionaire Elon Musk. It was delayed by technical difficult difficulties rather and gave Trump an opportunity to focus on familiar falsehoods and personal attacks. He also talked about the recent assassination attempt at O'Keefe is at the White House. Ed, it was delayed for close to an hour. This was touted as Trump's return to the site formerly called Twitter. So how did it go? Well, the, it took a while. Not very good. Maybe a failure to launch, which for Elon Musk could mean all sorts of things. The chat on X, formerly known as Twitter, started more than 40 minutes after it was supposed to begin, while hundreds of thousands tried to listen in. Musk said it was delayed by a massive hack, but provided no evidence. And once the conversation got started, it was more than two hours long. Take a look at what happened. Just shy of a month after the assassination attempt on him and after vowing in his convention speech to never share details again, former President Donald Trump talked at length about it in a conversation with Elon Musk. What was it like for you? Not pleasant. I didn't know I had that much blood. The doctors <laughs> later told me that the ear is a place that is uh, a very bloody place if you're going to get hit. But uh, in this case, it was probably the best alternative you could even think about because it went at the right angle. Trump also said he's preparing to go back to Butler, Pennsylvania in October. The Republican nominee spoke with the entrepreneur, also owner of Tesla and SpaceX, who reiterated he's backing Trump. You are the path to prosperity, and I think Kamala is the opposite. Previous ownership had banned Trump due to the Capitol insurrection, but shortly after Musk bought the platform, Trump was reinstated and used his account to promote the interview. In the chat, Trump targeted Vice President Harris. Third-rate phony candidate. She's incompetent. She hasn't done an interview I mean, since this whole yeah. uh, scam started. But complimented a new Time magazine cover of her, despite saying it didn't even look like Harris. She looked very much like... A great first lady, Melania. And he attacked President Biden. The worst president in history. And one of the reasons he was so bad, first of all, the Israeli attack would have never happened. Russia would never have attacked Ukraine. And we'd have no inflation. And we wouldn't have had the Afghanistan mess. As Trump continues stoking a conspiracy theory about the size of crowds at Harris campaign events, some allies are urging him to focus on policy instead. You've got to make this race not on personalities. Mm -hmm. Stop questioning the size of her crowds and start questioning her position when it comes to what did she do as attorney general. Now, in response to the live stream on X, the Harris campaign said in a statement that Trump's entire campaign is in service of people like Elon Musk and himself, self-obsessed rich guys who will sell out the middle class and who cannot run a live stream in the year 2024. Gail? Here we go. Ed, what is the latest on the allegations that the campaigns may have been hacked? Yeah, this is interesting, Gail. CBS News has learned the FBI is investigating whether Iranian hackers targeted individuals associated with both the Trump and the Harris campaign. Sources say the FBI launched its probe in the early summer after the then Biden, Harris and Trump teams experienced attempted phishing schemes targeting campaign officials. On Monday, the Harris campaign said it vigilantly monitors and protects against cyber threats and isn't aware of any security breaches of its systems, Gail. All right, Ed, thank you very much.